Hey everybody, it's Shaylee and Steven. We are here today at the mythical town Spectre, also better known as the movie set of Tim Burton's hit film, Big Fish. The 2003 blockbuster hit was filmed almost entirely in rural Alabama. Though many scenes were filmed throughout the state, the mythical town of Spectre served as a staple to the movie. Now restored as a tourist destination, today we go behind the scenes and explore this abandoned movie set to see what magic Spectre still has to offer its visitors today, almost 20 years later. Hey, that's me, Shaylee, and that's my boyfriend, Steven. Normally when you see us, we're out on some big crazy adventure exploring the outdoors and living larger than life. But what you might not know is Steven has actually been diagnosed with a rare disease that basically breaks down all the muscles in his body. And if that isn't hard enough, he's just now recovering from cancer too. But that isn't going to slow us down. Our blog is going to take you on exciting adventures all across Alabama, explore myths and urban legends, and meet some new local friends along the way. So buckle up and enjoy the ride, and welcome to Pelican Point Expeditions. In 100 feet, oh, wow. yeah, you have reached your destination. Oh, cool. Okay, we are here at Spectre. We have our dollar bills. It's $3 a person. And what you have to do, it looks like, is fill out an envelope, put your money in the envelope, and then you get the gate code. Okay, we just called and got the gate code, popped our money in. And they check to see which car we are in, so they are definitely watching to make sure you pay. Steven and I couldn't wait to tour around the movie set and see the mythical town of Spectre in real life. But first, we had a rite of passage to tend to. In the movie when Edward first arrives, Jenny steals his shoes and tosses them over a lime. To honor this tradition, we decide to string up a pair of our own and be a part of the folklore. So I'll do Shaylee on one shoe, Steven on another, and then the date. Twenty twenty. All right, I like it. There we go. We're ready. We're ready to throw our shoes up. <laughs>
Check out that knot. That's looking good. All right, let's go throw those up. And the yeah. I think they still have a few of the sets of the main trees. I didn't even see this, but mystical. Mystical. Look. And you said mythical. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Over here. It's all styrofoam. I'm about to walk through. Goats in the middle. Of I yeah. Welcome to Spectrum. Yeah, the goats are in the middle of the road. Can you hear it? Yeah. Oh, it's on the way. Oh, look, other people wrote. On the bottom, that little baby shoe. Let me see. Yeah, a lot of people rode on the bottom. That's cool. might take a few tries. But That's okay, I've never done it before. Don't mess up. Almost. That's probably why they're all in the middle. Oh, really? Oh. There it is! Good job! Did you get him up there good? You can see my name really good, but... I can see it. I can see both of ours. Hey! Oh my gosh! Hi! There's some babies too. <laughs> right we saw that when we were pulling hey. in. Oh my goodness, aren't you so sweet? Oh, you're so soft. That's crazy, she said there's baby goats and they all just come right up yeah. to you. Yeah, I'll miss that. There's our shoes. We are up there, we are on the line. The cool thing was, people later saw our shoes and started sending in pictures with them to our blog. It was now time for us to go explore the main attraction. But as Steve and I started getting up close to the houses, we realized that it was indeed just an abandoned movie set. Nonetheless, it was still pretty cool to be able to walk among the famous setting and see all the art and design behind each house. That one has a curtain. Yeah, this one is. You're right. This one still has curtains up. Or maybe new curtains. Porch does not look very safe, so we're just gonna stay back. Is that the, those are glass panes up in the top. That's not wood. I thought it was wood, but it's glass pane. 
oh, I'd be yeah. able to, I guess, use their finger. Being this mystical town where it was vibrant, but then in the end of the movie, you come here and it's desolate, kind of like how it looks now, falling apart. So, I guess the, we're seeing the people that did the movie did a great job being able to have it both ways very quickly. All right, to the next house. They do, yeah, but I'm sure. It's really cool to be able to walk up to these and on the outside you can tell, I mean, they look just like homes, but on the inside, very clearly a movie set is just um, empty on the inside, barren and just no the drywall. bare basics, no drywall, anything. Um, one of these houses has curtains, which is interesting. Glued them. Somehow they just glued the fake stones. House over here has like French doors. Oh, the this right. is cool. Wow, this is really cool. Right here. You can see where there used to be light picture. I've noticed that in a lot of these. Doors, there were flight pictures for the movie, but either someone took them away or maybe the production team took those away because they could probably reuse them maybe. Weren't there lights strung up throughout the entire town? Yeah, there were lights and then there was a big grassy, it was all grass in the middle um, for the movie. Yeah, we're supposed to be barefoot right now because I remember there was a big dancing scene, everyone having fun. Oh, wow, and like maybe even in these little circles of this, they're probably a little design, I bet. Um, it's, it's nice. Says the mayor's house. It was his address, 25. I don't know what the street was, but this was his address. But this was the mayor's house. Which was wild. It looks like you can see a bed in there. This one, the mayor's house. So there's a back to it? Oh. I didn't even know this was an option. Wow, and see, look at this. This is how amazing this is. It, the brick is not brick. It's just a, a slight, uh, oh, yeah. very, very thin. Oh, it's like a... Plaster on it. Like a, yeah, it is plaster. It's not, all of these are not bricks at all. That's wild. They look so real. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see Okay, so there's just, it looks like maybe a wall. The mayor's house. Yeah, this is the perfect, perfect place, I guess, if you have to film a movie. This is beautiful out here. This is really neat. And you can see the Spanish moss and all these trees to make it more mythical because, yeah, they you had to go through a dark woods and forest that was very bizarre and mythical. I'm gonna use it for the day. Well, that's definitely the feeling of this place for sure. Let's sit. Let's sit. Ooh, wow, look at all the goats. Look at the baby goats. <gasps> Tiny little ones. They're probably hungry. All these. Oh my gosh, look. I'm petting the baby goat. All oh these. my goodness. 
Is this is not the cutest thing in the world. I'm happy. They all want on that stump. How cute. Those baby goats are the most precious things I have ever seen. As we continue to explore Jackson Lake Island, we still had one more iconic stop to make. In the movie, the character Jenny lived in a house on the river, which appears in several scenes throughout the film. We had heard that over the years, the house had been damaged by bad storms and flooding and has since been taken down and removed. However, the pillars of her original house still remain intact today. This is where Jenny's house used to be. You can see the pillars. Oh, yeah. Awesome. That's cool. Okay, we spotted Jenny's house. We we're walking up. It's just here past all these campsites, and you can still see the pillars um, of it still standing. So this is pretty cool. This is, we were hoping that we were going to be able to see this. Probably. Right, let's see. This is used to power. This is Jenny's house. Original cows. Yeah, this must have been a huge house. This is so cool. What a view Jenny had. Same as Joke, he's like, God, what a view Jenny had. I was like, right? Overall, we were absolutely blown away by everything Jackson Lake Island had to offer. The cool thing was, not only could you walk amongst the famous movie set, but you could sleep around it too at any one of their waterfront campsites. Okay, this is definitely bucket list for camping because this is, this is way too cool. We were also surprised about how clean the restrooms are too, which every camper knows is an absolutely treasured find. They even have a unique pavilion set up that you can rent out for personal events. So this is the Island Tree House available to rent out. And then you've got this pavilion, all these benches. And of course, it's the perfect place to launch your boat or canoe and try to catch your very own big fish. We literally just saw a massive fish jump out of the water. How big was it? Probably that big. Easily. Big fish. It was big fish. But that's not all. Spectre had one last surprise in store for us before we left. I really was not expecting to see these views that are absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to come back and do camping here. That's that's my next that's my next stop. And kayak. And kayaking. And 100%. we love um, she's what she's really saying is she just wants to get a goat in the tent <laughs> so she can sleep with the goat. Snuggle the baby goat. Exactly. Oh yeah, oh, that's definitely here, and, and I hear there the they goats. Go. They want me to. Uh, oh, that's yeah. it. So I think I see a baby one. I there's, see him behind the trees. Over there and, oh my gosh. I might have to go check them out. These, I definitely want to go check this out. Okay, whatever recommendation I was giving before, I need to add to it. I got totally distracted. 
uh, when we were doing our cutout by all the goats and for a good reason. There's an entire field of goats behind us. I'm sold. This place is amazing. You gotta come. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Submit your photo with our shoes for a chance to be featured on our social media or even website. Visit explorepelicanpoint.com for more information. Never miss an adventure. Like and follow Pelican Point Expeditions on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And stay tuned for the next episode on Lake Martin TV.